Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Prison Architect, and... Things are moving along in the prison. We don't have much threat level. I think I do need to do a shakedown, maybe, now that we have a bunch of new prisoners in here. Where are they in their regime? They are on the eat period. I think that's a perfect time to do the shakedown. And we'll get that out of the way. Uh, I am setting up the classroom, and I do believe I set up the program, but there was a problem with it. Let me take a look at that. So, does it have to be in a work period? I, I'm not sure about that. So, classroom. There shouldn't be anything going on in a classroom, so I don't see a reason why we couldn't do foundation here. Now, what's going on at 3 p.m.? Who has a schedule for that? 3 p.m. is work. We could do it at 3 p.m. Yeah, okay. Um, why don't I take a look at that? So, uh, schedule. I think what I'll do is I'll do two, two programs. And I'll put one here. The three-hour program. So, honestly, it's going to be tough to be able to fit this in. Either way you look at it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fit it here. Yeah, that's not going to work. I may have to set up the regimes a little bit differently. Let me take a look at that, actually. So, regime. Now, one thing that may be affecting me is the fact that I have three eating periods. And the game, I think, normally only has two eating periods. Um, so, I could modify things so I get more work time. So that I can actually do some of these, these programs. Or I could move the eating period back a little bit and have it be here instead, and then we get more work time. Like an hour added in here. Alternatively, I just do one education program and I don't really worry about it. I guess that's the route I'm going to take now. So let's go into the edit schedule. We just have the one foundation education program. You mean it's outside of valid? Who are you? I think the problem is that no group can actually do that because it's the three-hour thing. So I gotta, I gotta edit the regimes here so that they actually have a solid block of work time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm going to change this to yard time. So we're going to have prisoners in the same place in the same time, unfortunately. Now, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. If I want them to have the ability to do some of these programs, i got to do things like this. So now that we have that set up, when I come in here, go to the programs, go to schedule. Now this is going to need to change, and this is going to need to change. All right, so now I can set up that and they should be able to attend it and then in the infirmary I'm going to set up this and this and then I also need common room alcoholics group good okay spiritual guidance good foundation okay good 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 all right and then we can't do the general um, education because nobody is qualified yet. So they have to do foundation first. All right, well, let's get this uh, shakedown done. Got a new po uh, prison population. And we did have somebody tunnel out. Now, I don't know if they actually escaped or not. It wasn't actually made clear. I think I should only have one prisoner coming in, so that's good. But either way you look at it, we're going to need to do these things. Now, the next thing that I probably am going to end up doing here is... Oh, jeez. Uh, getting metal detectors out. But first, I have to get the armory done, get the uh, armed guards doing their parole st I mean, their patrol stuff. But... Right. 
We've only had one prisoner released so far, but we have a bunch of prisoners that are up for parole. That's why we have the parole uh, area set up. We're going to have a bunch of people going into solitary because they are getting caught with things. Matter of fact, how many are waiting? One in solitary, two in lockdown. Now, I could alter, like, the punishment setup, but I'm fine with the default for now. Also, eventually I'm going to want a lawyer, which might be required for the parole hearing. So that's why I'm working on it right now. I've got legal being worked on. Okay, armory is done. So what do we need for armory? We need, under armory, we need a weapon rack, a guard locker, and a table. So let's first set up the table, which I'm surprised we don't already have one. Oh, that's going to take up a lot more room than I would have liked. But unfortunately, it can't be helped. Then we need a weapon rack, I believe, was another thing that we need. I wanted to, like, double this room as a security room, but I just don't know if I have the, uh, the space for it. That table takes up a ton of space. Um... Oh, well, uh, let's go ahead and get the objects we need. So armory we need, weapon rack, and guard locker. Okay. The so weapon rack is here. This is only two space, so I'll go ahead and fit that right there. And then the guard locker. Got a couple of those. And what I might do here for the room, room, security room, it only needs to be four by four. So if we do that, hold on, one, two, three, four. That should be big enough. And I just need to do the other things. Okay, so that is that. And then we do our armory like this. And I might as well tell this door to go back to normal mode. Alright, so I can fit in some more lockers here, it looks like. And I think the more lockers I have, the more guards, or armed guards I can have. So, guard, locker... All right, well, I could use more of this area for security room. As a matter of fact, I might do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the security room. And I'm going to draw it out here to this. Because I think it's going to be hard to ma make out what is uh, armory and what is security room here. But I think that should be good. And... Okay, we've got the size, we just need the objects now, and we need an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet, so let's go ahead and do that. So objects, office desk is here, go ahead and flip that around and put it right in there, and then we're going to do a chair for that. I don't know if the chair, oh the chair is required, and then a filing cabinet is in there. And then what I really want out of all this is the CCTV system, which we're going to now unlock for surveillance. Oh, I don't have enough money? Ah, that's a bummer. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasted a bunch of money on the perimeter fence, uh, and I didn't get refunded for it, so that's where we're short on money, but mistakes happen. I'll have to try and avoid such mistakes in the future. And materials. We'll do marble tiles. Why not? And staff. Do we have our lawyer yet? Not quite. 
go under programs though and see if I can do the parole anyway. The parole. Led by a parole officer and a parole assisted by a parole lawyer. Okay, um, so start that program. And let's see where it is. So parole hearing is here. Doesn't look like it needs to be at any particular time. So 6 a.m. What is our going on in our regime at 6 a.m.? So that's eating period. I'd prefer if it was actually at 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. if I could. So let's go in here. Go to programs. Edit schedule. It is a one, two, three, four hour program. And I think that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to delete that from here. Parole hearing. Because this is during free time, so they'll be able to do that. Okay. That's set up. So now we can get some of these guys that are waiting for parole paroled. And what is our needs looking like now? So recreation is probably the biggest problem so far. Outside of privacy and literacy. Sleep will go away because the prisoners, it's getting to their bedtime anyway. Or it should be their bedtime. So why don't we uh, speed up time here? How many hours away are we from our prisoner intake? Of a grand total of one. Getting there. And getting prisoners paroled off will, you know, obviously give us more room for prisoners. Give us some cash as well, which is nice. Okay, so the armory is done, so now it's time to hire our armed guards. Um, because we have a grant for that, which is this here. We need two guards on patrol, so let's grab those guards. Armed guard. One, two. Oh, I don't have enough funds for another one. How much are these guys? Wow, 1,500. We're going to have to wait. But I can put one of them on parole, I guess. Patrol, I should say. Uh, so let's go to armed patrols. And we'll assign them to this main one here. And then when we get enough cash... Be good to go. So we might as well speed things up. There isn't really anything I need to work on necessarily right now. Although I could work on a building a workshop, which might not be a bad call. Let's uh, let's get our planning out. So if we did this, I would like it to be two away from the wall if I can. Draw it out like this. One, two, three, four, five. It would be five. So let's see room wise workshop here. It needs to be 5x5, five five. so right now, as it stands planning-wise, we're 5, which is good, and then 1, 2, well, I can just do this, that counts better. Alright, so, what I'll do, I'll do this instead, and then it should be a nice 5x10 size. Yeah, okay, so there's going to be our uh, workshop, and... Go ahead and build that. Oh, I don't have money. Oh, well. Okay, well, we have a grant for that eventually. Problem right now that I'm having is I don't have a lot of money, and the grants that I have, uh, I could do. But, uh, soon. I just need, honestly, I need one more guard. Now, the cell block C is a problem because that's going to take a while to do. Because I'm going to need to expand my prisoner capacity. Over here could be a nice area to do that. Um, alternatively, I could just knock out a little bit of area here and drag this over a little bit and get another couple cells. That would only give me eight prisoners, though, so it's not perfect. Actually, no, it would only give me four prisoners. That's kind of the downside of this, is I really honestly don't need... I need 12 more prisoners, and then I can get cell block C done. Okay, now we have enough cash to get that last staff member. We need to get these guys on patrol, so... Uh, get back over to... Deployment. Armed guard, and we'll stick them... 
There's the grant. Okay, well that definitely helps. Now I can actually start building things. So the game plan was over here. Foundation, concrete. There we go. Then we need a door. So. Looks good to me. And another thing I like is that surveillance be done. We have enough cash for that now. And we're running out of things that need built. Might as well just finish off the uh, power here. So that we don't run out of it later. And then I think my next mission here is to get metal detectors up in a lot of the main areas. Well, actually, my my next mission is to get CCTVs, but that's going to take another two hours. So, metal detectors are going to be expensive, though. Let's take a look at that. So, objects, metal detector. There are a thousand apiece, and I'm going to need quite a few. Because I'd like to put them, as I said, out in front of all of the main areas. So, we're going to do uh, in front of the cell blocks in front of the canteen, uh, in here, so we get prisoner intake uh, being uh, checked, probably out in front of the w different work areas, like the uh, workshop and what have you. Okay, so this is done. Now we just need to hook up utilities. So, this would probably be the easiest to get over there. Now, this is the workshop, so I'm going to need more power routing than what I have initially, but at least we're getting it there. And planning, I'll just go ahead and erase that. Um, I'm going to hire a couple more cooks. I know I have prisoners working in the kitchens, but the problem is I don't know if I actually have them set up to work when the meal times are, so they wouldn't actually do that, would they? Oh, that's a problem I didn't really account for. You see, that's where staggering meal time is probably a good idea because it gives them time to work. Yeah, all right. Well, you know what? I will do that. I just have to figure it out and the regime and how we're going to make that work. Like, for instance, I could make these guys eat earlier and then give them work time. That's not a bad idea, so why don't I do that? So, you're going to be set up for work time here, and then you're going to eat. I don't know if I like it, but we're going to do it. Alternatively, I could turn down the amount of time that they're eating here. I like the, sta the staggered shower time. How about this? We do only one eat eat time, but we're gonna yeah. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them two meal times, but I'm gonna upgrade their meal quality. So I'm gonna switch this out. I'm just gonna make everything free time for now until I have it figured out. So. I want to stagger the meal time here. So these guys... Get rid of the shower time. Okay, so... These guys will eat first because they're probably more violent. We'll make these guys eat second. And we'll give these guys a work period here. So they work during these guys' eating period so that they can help in the kitchen. And then we'll give a work period here so these guys can help out in the kitchen when they're eating. And we'll give them both shower times, but we'll stagger it. So, 
like that. What I could do here is also change the yard time here. So you get yard time here, then free time, and you guys, I'm going to extend your yard time. Okay. So that's set up. Now we need the eating staggering. So what I'll do is I'll bring these guys eat time up. Change this to free time. And I'll bring these guys eat time back. And we'll give this all work period. And this will be work period. So we've just killed their free time, which is not usually a good idea. Because they only have one hour free time a day. But it's going to have to do for now. And this shouldn't knock out the school program. Because it's a three hour program. So we should be okay. Alright, we'll see how this works. We'll see if they get freaked out by recreational needs or something. But either way, I think we're doing okay. And it looks like... What do I got over here? A Polaroid? <laughs> you had things like this in the... Uh, campaign. I don't know how long it's going to stay there. There it goes. All right. So I just meshed with their uh, regime big time. Oh, and I did want to, while I was at it, I wanted to change their meal quality. The only problem I have is I don't remember where that is. So I sold my prison to be worth 190000 That's nice. I don't think it's under that. Policy, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Meal, meal quality is going to go up. And meal variety is going to go up. This should cost me more money per prisoner, but it will have fewer meal times, which gives me, I think, a little bit better benefit. Oh, and we're running negative with... The, okay, uh, hold on here. <laughs> Let me take a look at that. All right, so maybe we'll just be medium here. See if that... There we go. We don't have... We're not losing quite as much money. But they're getting good quality meals to make up for the fact that they only have two now. Alright, so the workshop is more or less done. And I'm going to need to deploy guards. I would like one here to keep an eye on the workshop. Okay, now that we have that done... How's my camera stuff going? Okay, good. Um, oh, and we need another grant. Uh, so, under grants. Um, this is increase the size of security force, unblock, unlock body armor through bureaucracy, unlock tasers through bureaucracy, build a CCTV monitor. Okay, I do want to do this anyway, so might as well take that, and it gives us $20,000 up front. So, I think we do this. Um, for sure. Although well, prison manufacturing facility, we're working on it, but kind of like this first. I mean, you get the same kind of money up front. Problem is, with this, both of these are long term, so it's kind of hard to say exactly which one is the better one to do right now. I guess I'll take the prison manufacturing. and Because we already have the building for it. And I was about to do the workshop anyway. And we're working towards the other things. For instance, I can unlock body armor now. Uh, and I'd like to unlock body armor. And then... What objects do we need? We need a table. Stick that right there. And then we need a saw. And okay, so those are both idle to work. Up. Need a saw. All right, I'll stick it here. And presses. Uh, 
All right, so we didn't necessarily maximize our space perfectly, but... Oh, and there is no turning these. I kind of wonder where they work on it from. I guess I'll take a look at that, and maybe I can move these guys around later. And then we'll see how we need to move the power, too. Oh, and this needs to be locked open. And materials-wise, we'll make it a nice wood floor. Okay. So we can see people in our school. How is our school going? We get an idea of that if we go under programs. So, foundation education. Three are interested. Uh, all rooms booked. All right, I probably need to edit that schedule. Okay, so... I only have one foundation education program set up. But these are all viable times to do it. I guess I'll do one in the uh, morning here. So, then pro hearing, I'll keep where it is. I guess I can ramp up how many of these we have. So they're getting it several times a day. And we can also do the alcoholics group and the kitchen safety and all that stuff anytime that they can work for the most part. So that we have a lot of these programs. Now this might cost me too much money, so we'll have to see what it does here. Kitchen safety I'm not too worried about doing how often that happens. But we'll see in a second here how much that... Yeah, that drives me into debt practically. So I'm going to have to cut back programs here. Um, Alright, so... I guess we'll limit how many times we have the alcoholics group. Uh, we'll get rid of this one. And spiritual guidance we don't have to have quite as often. We'll just do two. Oh, it's saying this is outside of valid work time? What about here? Is that better? No. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know what it wants there. All right, let's see how that affects pricing or cost. Yeah, there we go. As long as we have positive income, that's all I care about. And then... Did I get surveillance done? I'm, I'm getting sidetracked here. All right, so we want the camera system, which is probably going to be expensive, but I will try to... Okay, put that monitor right here. Now we need the cameras themselves. All right, so we're going to be sticking this in areas where we don't have good vision. I think put one here so we get vision down this hallway. We'll put... You know what? I lie. I don't want one there. I want them in high traffic areas. Want one in the chapel. Want one in the classroom. I would like them in the cell area. On there. On there. I'm going to have to route power to these, but it's okay. And I probably want them in the food eating area as well. And one in the workshop. We're going to put it right there. Okay, so utilities need power. And that, I think, is the easy way to hook all that up. Okay, so we don't have any cameras outside right now, and I would like at least one, so why don't I grab...
put one here. Get a view of the yard. And I guess we'll put another one here in the infirmary. Okay. That looks good about what I'd like. I mean, there's some areas. Oh, laundry. Objects. Put one right there. And I think that's a good point to put a cut in the video. So we're going to get the CCTV system up and running. I have to actually hook them up to the CCTV here in a second. But uh, we'll do that in the next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.